Um, and I am here today with Marty, who is one of our irrigation consultants. He's in our conservation department. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we are doing a simultaneous Periscope and Facebook Live broadcast. Uh, we hope that you will share the broadcast. Make sure you swipe on Periscope and share that out. I know you can also share on Facebook Live, so please do that. Also, give us some comments. We'll be happy to respond to any live comments or on Facebook Live post. Uh, you can also comment in, in the sections there, and we'll, we'll address anything that we possibly can for you. Um, we are at Ingwood neighborhood today, and it is a beautiful landscape in a beautiful home. But um, we noticed that this house had a really high water bill, and we reached out and wanted to see if perhaps they could use a water saver consultation. So it's my understanding, Marty, that we've saved the homeowner approximately 20,000 gallons of water per month. Yeah, that's correct. Heather and I came out the day before last, came out and did a consultation. Mm -hmm. find, you know, found some minor issues, not too many issues. Uh, but the scheduling is what we found was the reason for the high usage. So what we did is went ahead and we scheduled according to what we saw as far as you know, my, the, the climate of the plants, like sun, shade, you know, grass, beds, so forth and so on. And we brought down, you know, we brought down the consumption to okay. 20,000, about half, about half their consumption. Perfect. So before we get into the details, which Marty is going to take us through, just so you have an idea of what you could benefit from if you want to do your own uh, free water saver consultation, Marty, show us, um, sure. you, how do you start these consultations? And we'll, we'll get our camera Well, it guys starts with up. a blank sheet, obviously, mm -hmm. okay, and then it ends up with something like this. And it's pretty detailed, you know, and we give the gallons for every zone, and we, give, we have the issues, and we also have the issues on the bottom, and then we have the, the rebates that are available to the customers as well. And we talk to the customer, let them know about all the rebates and the coupons that are available to them. So in addition, well, first of all, does a customer have to be present during the time that you're doing this? Yes, okay. the customer must be present. Okay. Yes. And as you're going through then, when you complete your checkup, then you come back and you basically sit and discuss it with the customer to tell them what it is that they uh, need to do to adjust. Usually, yeah, usually what we'll do is it takes about 20, on the average, 20 minutes to go through the system, and then we'll meet the customer at the controller. And then what we'll do is we'll explain to them what we found, and we'll give our recommendations as far as the schedule. And then we'll, sh you know, we'll show them on the on the report where we found issues: broken heads, leaning heads, overspray onto the driveway, onto the street, so forth and so on. And what we'll do, if they want, we'll also give them a t little small tutorial on the basics of that controller, okay. so they understand the controller. Perfect. So since you've already gone through this landscape, why don't you take us through the issues you did find, or at least some of them? Okay. And kind of. We'll show our viewers exactly sort of what you're looking for, what are some of the things that you're going to help them fix, and then we'll go from there. Okay, sure. Okay. Let's go. So let's head on over that direction. Okay. So I'll let you be on camera there. <laughs> this, zone, this zone here is zone 7, okay? It's a rotor zone, and it's in the shade. So it doesn't need the same time as a rotor zone in the sun. So we, we, we have that slightly lower as far as the run times for that. But as you can see over here at the basketball court, you can see a little wet area where it's gone on to the, to the, to the basketball court and where it's going on right now, where you can see it's going on to the you know, basketball court. And what we'll do is we'll put that on the report and let the customer know that they have a sprinkler head that's spraying onto the basketball court. No matter how much you water this basketball court, it will not grow. So with that in mind, we go ahead and tell the customer they need to get this head adjusted. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Woo! That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That happens every day. Every day. We get wet every day. It's a lot of fun. Okay. As you can see in the background, there is a patio back there. It's a little living area back there that the customer created. We have a coupon for that. And it's, it's going to be available September 1st, and it's called the Patio Scape Coupon. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's back there. And what, in this instance, the customer would have had to have removed the heads in that area because that's the whole idea is to get rid of the grass and get rid of the heads and save water. Okay? Another issue over here, I want to show you over here. If you could just come over here real quick. This is minor, but it, it, it really does a lot as far as to your distribution reformity, and, which is your distribution of the water. As you can see, the head is leaning. It's leaning toward the ground. So when this thing comes up, it leans like this. 
So you have this high arc that comes out and then you have a, this low arc that just hits the ground right here. And these are little minor issues that we let the customer know that they could possibly even fix themselves. And so that's what these little orange flags are, right? Yes. So you tag the issues with the orange flags to help them understand what's That is correct. On. That is correct. So, um... Well, let me tell you about a cool situation that we found here at this particular house. Zones number 9 and number 12 were the same zone. In other words, what I'm trying to say is that when number 9 came on, it fed a certain section, and then when number 12 came on, it fed the same section. So there's a wiring issue there, and we let the customer know that they need to get their irrigator, or if they're handy themselves, that they can go ahead and remove that wire on either 9 or 12. Basically, they were watering the same area twice, and they didn't need to. And that's a little cool things that we find, and we let the customers know uh, to save water and then return save wa uh, money. So I, I guess the, what, what most customers are not aware of is just how much water an irrigation system really uses. So it can use more in a month than what you use for all other use That is home, That right? is correct. Uh, what, the way I like to describe an ir irrigation... Uh, system to a customer is okay let's say your cycle time is two hours okay and your average gallons per minute is 15 gallons per minute okay go open up your hose bed right there for two hours and let it run full blast for two for two hours that's basically what your irrigation uses but it's controlled it is a luxury and it does need to be mined at in other words what I mean it needs to be not forgotten you need to go out there on Saturday or every other Saturday go through the manual system you know to run through the system manually and make sure that it's working correctly and watch your scheduling and also ask your irrigator when he comes out to give you a copy of the schedule that he's controlled you know that he's programmed with the controller yeah. and so you can when a consultation is done and you have some recommendations on ways to save you can reprogram the controller for the customer if that's something they want that is correct again uh, nine times out of ten we do reprogram that controller for the customer and bring their usage down um, like I said, and we do encourage the customer to learn the basics of the controller. So that way they know their controller and they're comfortable programming their controller. Okay. Do you want to take us over and show us kind of a little bit about the, where we end up? Is there something else you want to talk about in this landscape before we walk over? Sure. We can go out to the, the we can go to the garage and we can go to the controller. Okay. For those of you, and sorry, we're, we're kind of kind of a While she's doing that, I'm going to disconnect this remote. So for those of you that might just be joining us, we are uh, doing, showing you guys what a water saver irrigation consultation looks like. In this particular case, we are in the Inwood neighborhood in a beautiful home with a beautiful landscape that was using way too much water. The reason for that was that their irrigation system was pretty much... Um, running at times or for longer than it needed to run. So, um, in, in this case, this particular home, with the adjustments that have been made, we're able to save approximately 20,000 gallons of water per month. So, we took through the landscape, we talked about uh, some of the issues that get identified with these cool little orange flags that our team comes out and looks at and makes the homeowner aware of. And now Marty's going to take us a little bit, like normally this is where the consultation would end after yes. they, they talk, right? Yes. I'll let you chat from okay. here. Okay, this is a commercial controller, so it's kind of sophisticated. Uh, it's not your basic homeowner or home uh, residential controller. But the reason they have a commercial controller is because they have so many zones. This is basically a small park, this, this house, this beautiful home. Um, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll run through uh, the programming of the controller in front of the customer and then we'll go ahead and teach them the basics and one of the basics is the seasonal adjust the seasonal adjust is the easiest way to control this controller and any controller really because what it does it reduces your your, your run times by percentage so it doesn't affect your you know your, your start time stays the same your day stays the same the only thing you're adjusting by your, with your seasonal adjust is your run times by percentage right here and as you can see it's at 100 percent so if I had 10 minutes and I bring it down to 50%, let's say in October, it would run at five minutes. 
and whatever or whatever you have programmed in here is run at fifty percent. And we don't really get into the like the cycle and soak with the customer. We just it's just how to set the day, how to set the start time, and then. You know, if they really don't, if they're really confused, we, the seasonal adjust is the easiest thing to learn and, and to control the controller. Great. So before we wrap up, I know you wanted to make a point about something that's key here, which is the meter and the backflow, right? Yeah, I want to show you all something very, very important. Uh, oh, sorry, sure. we had a question. How many zones do most homes have and what exactly is a zone? Okay, on the average, the, your basic residential home has 8 to 12 zones. And a zone is a section that comes on. It's a sectional valve that turns on a certain area and that particular area comes on and that is considered a zone. So it's not one sprinkler head but a whole area of sprinkler heads correct. that is watering a specific area of the home. That is correct. Okay. Yes. Great. All right. Show us. I just want to say that doing a consultation not only save you water, but it'll save you money as well. And then you get the expertise of our consultants, and all of the consultants are all licensed irrigators, just to let you know. So they're, they're very knowledgeable in the irrigation trade, okay? This is where the consultation usually starts. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and get a meter read, and we'll go ahead and get an average for each GPM, I mean for each zone, gallons per minute for each zone, and come out. With come, o come out with an overall average for the whole system. But what I wanted to point out is that notice how this is in Jasmine and how it's cleaned out and how the backflow is cleaned out as well. This is very important to keep your meter clean because the meter readers don't have time to go and look for meters. So this is a very good example of keeping your meter clean and easy to read and easy access to the cutoff for the irrigation or your home. This is, this is an ideal situation that we hope some more of our customers will actually adopt and, and make sure that either themselves or their, their landscaping professionals keep that in mind, which is to keep that area clean and, and that is correct. E easily accessible, yes. right? I, I just want to say, if you'd like a, con a consult, you know, call 704-SAVE, or you can, you know, you can book a, 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 an appointment online at consult at saws.org. So thank you very much for joining us. We hope that this is um, giving you some insight into how uh, easy it is to save some money and water, of course. And uh, join us every Thursday at 1030. We're both on Facebook Live and uh, Periscope. And uh, looking forward to your comments. So thank you. Bye.